What's up guys? This is Christian Bruno with Six Figure Medicare Agent. I made six figures in this business for the first time when I was 25 years old and I want to help you get to six figures in your Medicare business and above and beyond through my experiences. And I also want to document my journey to building a million dollar plus insurance agency, okay? Um, you guys asked for it. And that is how to make a six figure income as a Medicare agent on little to no marketing dollars, okay? Um, I want to start this episode out by giving you a little bit of a disclaimer, and that is I advise people to spend money on their marketing. Right? You need to spend money on your marketing. You need to spend money on mailings. You need to spend money on advertising. You need to spend money on leads. It's going to help you get to your goal faster of a six-figure Medicare business, okay? Um, it just is. You know, you know, um, it, Sometimes it takes money to make money. You can get to a six-figure income on limited investments, but it's tough, okay? Um, but that's what that's what I did. I made six figures for the first time spending very little marketing dollars. And it was basically just through hard work, determination, and hustling. Um, when I first came into this business, I was very, very young. I came in with a very close friend of mine, and we were working with my dad. As many of you know, my dad's been in the Medicare business for many, many years. And um, I grew up around the business, so he was basically my, my, my teacher, my mentor, basically somebody that kind of guided me along the way to kind of get me to where I am today. And um, I remember the first day we came in, um, we did some product knowledge trainings of kind of those, some of the local plans that we would be offering and marketing, um, maybe a little bit of um, teachings and things like that, sitting down in conference rooms and things like that. And then I think it was our second day that we came in, we were given a list of people turning 65, um, and we were told that we were going to be making calls. Okay, um, that was basically the main way that I started building up my business. Okay, working people turning 65 through making calls. Okay, now you got to be very careful with this, guys. There's a lot of compliance rules. We were basically calling for Medicare supplements. Um, it's very illegal to call people that are on the do not call list. You got to be very careful about the stuff. And each state has their own laws and regulations. So just make sure that you're um, doing your homework before you're going to do that if you are going to do that. Now, is that the most effective way to market and build your business? Probably not, but it's cheap. You can get a list of people turning 65 for maybe 100 bucks, 200 bucks, something like that, um, depending on how populated your area is. And that's how we started out. I did not spend on a tremendous amount of money on leads and advertising and marketing until I was already at a six-figure Medicare income. Um, basically, another tactic that we use, guys, is we we um, networked with other professionals. You know, networking with agents in your area, property and casualty agents, financial planners. Um, this has been this has turned into a very valuable lead source for my business over the years, and it helped me get to six figures. Um, finding a good agent that's going to be a good referral partner for you is never, sometimes not easy. Um, there was one early on that we worked with that kind of stabbed me in the back that was a farmer's agent. You know, um, He referred us some business. He held a health license. We paid him a referral fee for some business that we gave him. And then six months later, he brought in an agent to do Medicare in his office and sent that agent out to roll the business, and he never gave us back our referral fee. So you got to be careful with who you partner with, but you can find good agents to kind of network with, and that was something that we did early on. Another tactic that I used that was very helpful is, you know, if you're on a limited budget, and I was. When I first came into the business, I was working um, two days a week, Saturday and Sunday, 12-hour shifts each day, 24 hours over the weekend at my old job, which was an assisted living facility. Um, my, I was... I was living with my now wife, girlfriend at the time, and um, she was working full time and helping me pay the bills. And we were basically struggling. You know, we were we were um, still, you know, we were, you know, swiping credit cards, if you will, quite a bit and kind of adding up the balances until we got there. And it was a struggle early on. It really was. But and so I didn't have a lot of marketing dollars. I didn't have a lot of lead money. Um, one thing that I did early on is I bought, ended up buying age leads. There's one particular batch I bought, and sometimes when you buy age leads, you're typically going to be working leads from a vendor that are six months old, 12 months old, two years old, maybe even three years old. Um, so they're not always going to be the best quality of leads, but you know, if you put the work in and you hustle, um, you can get, turn those into to, to diamonds. You know, I I know I remember one batch in particular. I think I spent a hundred dollars on this batch of leads. I ended up making about $2,000 in commission. I ended up selling a term life policy, paid me about $750 in commission. 
I ended up selling three or four Medicare supplement plans. I ended up selling three or four dental policies. And I think I ended up selling two additional um, discount dental plans. All my commission total ended up being about $2,000 on a $100 investment. So you can work cheap if you need to, if you're on a limited income. Um, another thing that we did is um, the assisted living facility that I was working at, I had connections there. You can build connections up with assisted living facilities. They brought us in to do a couple educational seminars, and we ended up getting a few clients from that. I mean, it's basically just about being creative, guys. Um, like I said at the beginning, though, if you can put money into your marketing, mailings, leads, social media advertising, whatever, it's going to help you get there much quicker and much faster. Um, but I can tell you from experience because I built a six-figure Medicare agent's business spending incredibly limited amounts on leads and marketing. And we did it through making calls for people turning 65 90 days out. Um, making home appointments, trying to fill the week. I remember, you know, on Mondays and Tuesdays, I'd probably make two to 400 calls a day and try to fill my week Wednesday through Saturday with appointments, as many as I could, home appointments, and we would try to basically bring clients on through that method. Um, got hundreds of clients over the years through making calls. It works. It's probably not the most efficient way to get business, but if you're on limited income, if you have limited of dollars that you can spend on building your business, there's no cheaper way to build a business through making calls. Age leads are great. Lots of lead vendors do them. Um, it's basically about rolling your sleeves up, putting some time in, and hustling a little bit, and you guys can do it too. Hope this video helped you guys, and I, I know this probably wasn't the answer that a lot of you might have been looking for, but um, it's not the sexiest way to do it. The sexy way to do it is to run Facebook ads and social media ads and Google AdWords and those kind of things to bring business to you, um, and those are probably the most effective way to do it, but it takes money to do those. Um, if you're on a limited income, just wanted to let you know that you can build this business on little to no marketing dollars right off the bat, and then you can start putting more money into marketing later like I did. Um, as always, guys, shameless plug, um, if you live in the states of Utah, Idaho, Colorado, Oregon, California soon, we're not quite there yet, Texas, South Carolina, Virginia, and Florida, again, I'll say Utah, Idaho, Colorado, Oregon, California soon, Texas, South Carolina, Virginia, and, Flor and Florida, those are the states that I'm licensed to do business in. We are now taking on more agents to kind of work with me personally and have me take you under my wing and I can teach you how to build a book of business, okay? Um, if you're interested in partnering with me and my organization and my agency, send me an email at christianb at xmission.com, C-H-R-I-S-T-I-A-N-B as in boy at xmission.com, christianb at xmission.com or find me on Facebook, Christian Brindle or join our, um, our Facebook group, Six Figure Medicare Agent. If you're interested in... Um, Getting into this business, if you have an insurance license, uh, maybe you're with an upline that just you don't feel like they're teaching you enough and they're not pouring into you like you feel like they should. Um, get in contact with me. I'd love the opportunity to be able to talk with you. I'd love the opportunity to be able to work with you. And um, it's something that I'm really putting a lot of attention to now at this stage of my career is basically passing on what I've learned and passing on what I've what I've what I've been able to do building a six-figure business at such a young age and I want to basically teach you how to do the same a residual six-figure income business um, get in touch with me if you live in some of those states I'd love the opportunity to be able to work with you and if you'd like to work with me personally that's how you do it Hope this, you guys found this video helpful. Um, if you did, please do me a favor, drop a like on the video, drop a comment down in the comment section on what, they'd like you, what you'd like to see me talk about in future videos, and subscribe for future Six Figure Medicare agent content. Hope this video finds you doing great so far in this new decade. Hope you're hope you, wishing you all the success and abundance in your career and your life. Until next time, take care. Thanks for watching.